Hey everyone, uh, welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to save your PowerPoint presentation slides as graphics so you can then add those to a video that you're putting together, okay? So with that, let's go ahead and come on over here, all right? I have um, Adobe Premiere Pro up here and we're just gonna go ahead and create a very simple composition. Uh, nothing fancy. We talked about how to do this in a previous video. I'll link that up here. But I'm going to go ahead and bring that on over here. We've got ourselves a, um, a video file here. Great. Fantastic. I go ahead and just drag that on over here. And boom, it creates a composition for me. So I'm all set. Um, as always, we have our video file here and our audio file here. And as we scrub along, we kind of see me going along, so on and so forth. But then the question becomes, OK, well, how do I add, say, a PowerPoint presentation to this if I'm doing a video lecture, if I'm recording a video lecture, but I want to include PowerPoint slides? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and reduce that. And we are going to open up a PowerPoint presentation that I have. I'm actually going to add some of these slides, these three slides, into that video that you just saw. Okay, so I've prepared these slides like any other slide. You know how to do that. All right, but then we want to save them as graphics. All right, well, what we do is we come over here to File, and we go to Export. And here we have all kinds of options. You can actually create a video if you're doing animation in, in your PowerPoint. I'll show you how to do that later. But what we want to do for this simple exercise is change file type down here at the bottom. All right. So I hit change file type and then I have a couple of options. I can either do a PNG or I can do a JPEG. Frankly, it doesn't really matter that much if you're just putting this into a standard um, video as we're doing here. Uh, later on, I'll show you where maybe it would matter, but for this exercise, it doesn't matter at all. So I'm going to go ahead and hit J. Uh, uh, I said JPEG, you know, JPEG and PNG. Okay, so I'm going to hit Save As. All right, well, it's going to go ahead and say, all right, where do you want this? Well, I already have this in the folder that I want it, but I'm going to create graphics, graphics. Go ahead and hit that. Now, when I hit save, watch what it does. It says, well, now, do you want all your slides or just this one? Well, obviously, you can choose either one. I'm going to go ahead and hit all my slides. All right and boom it's done now if i come here to my um, folder i'll go ahead and pull that on over you see it created a new file for me you know the mg presentation graphics remember i named it graphics and it says slide one slide two slide three so boom they're in there now okay so now what do i do well what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back over to my video here that I'm I'm putting together in Premiere Pro and I am going to just take these graphics and drag them on over here. Now since it's just three graphics I'm not going to worry about setting up folders, directories, bins, whatever you want to call them. Um, technically they're bins. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to show you how to uh, pull them over into your presentation. So these are now the graphics for each one of the slides. So what I can do is I can pull them over and just put them up above the video file. So consider it, think of it as layers. If it's up above the video file, then it's over the video file, which means you don't see it. Which means that as I go along here, boom, it pops up there, okay? Now, you might notice, hey, the size is different, right? Well, I'll go over that more later on. What you can easily do for now is say, hey, well, you go ahead and select the, who's a what's it, the presentation, and you could scale that to fit. 
Now, mind you, you lose some quality there. So, you know, you kind of have to figure out how you want to export things, both your video and your, your PowerPoint presentation. Um, and I'll show you more about that later on. But right now, if we were to increase that by 150%, that would fill the file. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my composition. Let's look at composition. Oh, sequence settings, the sequence settings. Yeah, so I could probably export those um, files to be larger, the PowerPoint presentation files. And if you stick around, we'll go ahead and do that here in a moment. But you see here that the PowerPoint slide just then appears. It's scrubbing along and then it disappears. OK, so long as this thing is visible, right, um, then it's in your sequence. Now you can increase the size. You can decrease the size. You can have it so it only appears for a moment and then disappears. All right. But any time that that's there and visible, um, it's visible. Now, I'll show you something else. If we change this back to 100% scale so that we don't lose anything, well, you know what we could do is we could go ahead and change that to, say, 50% so we don't lose anything at all. And we can change the position of it. So if you notice, I'm up here in the position section of the effects controller, and I could say, well, you know what? I don't wanna lose any quality. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it at, you know, these settings. So 386 by 242, doesn't really matter. It's wherever you wanna put it, okay? So then what I can do is as I scrub along my video, it'll go ahead and show up there in the corner. So it just depends on how you want to do this going forward. OK, now that's how you do it. So if you're if you're if you're done, if you're good, that's fine. But what I'm going to do um, for those of you that are curious, you can actually increase the quality of the export of your um, PowerPoint presentation slides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to once again go to export, change video type. OK, um, let's see here. Let's see if there are some options. Cancel. You know what? I'm going to watch this. I'm going to cut. And then we'll go to where the answer is, because there's something I need to do. I'll show you how, but you don't want to wait for this. Hold on. OK, I'm back. I figured it out. Oh, my holy heck, it's tricky. But once you get it all set up in your system, you're fine. You'll probably want to Google this a little bit to kind of figure out how to do it for you and your particular system, what level, what type of PowerPoint you're using and so forth. But let me go ahead and show you how it's done. What you want to do is you have to actually tell Windows, hey, I want to be able to export these bad boys in a huge format, really high quality format. So you come down here to the Windows and you right click that and you hit run. OK, and then in run, as it says here, you type in reg edit, R-E-G-E-I-D-E-D-I-T. -E -E Holy cow, Lon, learn to spell reg edit. OK, so you go ahead and hit OK and you're good. And then it's going to bring this up. Now, for my system, it's a fairly new system, you know, with, you know, latest PowerPoint and so forth. I went ahead and I opened up the H key current user and then I opened up software and I opened up Microsoft and then we opened up Office. And then I'm using 16.0. You just pick the highest level of PowerPoint that you're using or, or Office and so forth. And then I opened up PowerPoint. And then I opened up Options. OK, now over here in Options, this file was not there. So what I had to do was I go up to 
And there it is, edit, new. So you just hit new, right? So you just hit new. And we're gonna go to a new uh, D word 32 bit value. That's the one we hit. We go ahead and hit that, comes up with a new file, right? Well, you name it export bin map resolution. This is what you name it, okay? So I don't need that one. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Now, what you then wanna do is select that file and come up here to modify, edit, modify. And um, you change it to decimal and then your value data. Now, you don't need larger than 300. Trust me, even 300, you will shrink down. But I went ahead and put it at 400 because I'm extreme, right? So you go ahead and put it at the highest resolution that you're interested in doing. Once again, if you Google this, you'll kind of see your options there. And then you hit OK. And then you're all set. So then what happens is I went ahead and um, if you remember, I had my previous file here and I'm going to go ahead and change this one to 100. This is what it originally looked that like as it came in, right? Well, here's the new one. Well, holy hell, that thing's ginormous. Well, that's really cool. That's just fine because that means that I can shrink it down to, you know, like 33% or whatever. We'll just change it to 40 just for grins and giggles. And now it fills the whole thing, right? Now, why would you want to do an excessively large file like that? Well, if you want to zoom up on it to show any one single bit, then you don't lose any of the resolution. So I can go up to 100%. I zoom way in and yeah, I don't lose any of the resolution. And so somebody can see that, yeah, look, he uses his MG midget as a table, the moron. Okay, so that's how you do that. All right. Hey, we got a little freebie in this one. All right. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, have a great day. We'll see you later.